This is the Cine X Octocopter. I've been using it to fly the Movi M5 and the Sony FS700. I previously had the Avroto Lift 3515 400kV motors on it. They worked great even while carrying an 11 pound payload, but I wanted something with a little more power just in case I ever needed to fly a heavier camera or needed to fly at higher altitudes. Now before I upgraded the motors, I did some tests with the 3515s so that I could compare them to the new ones. This first one is a duration test with a 5 pound dumbbell as a payload. It was powered with a Zippy 8000 mAh 6S LiPo, and the 3515s were running 16 inch props. It flew for 8 minutes. Next, I did the same duration test but with two 8000 mAh 6L LiPos in parallel. It flew for 13 minutes. Now the problem with running two batteries in parallel like this is that they can discharge at different rates. I decided to try out this Bonka Batteries 16 amp hour 6S from multicopterbatteries.com. With it, I was able to get 16 minutes and 20 seconds of flight time, which is pretty impressive. Lastly, I did a payload test. The 3515s could carry this 15 pound weight, but it was definitely at the high end of the payload capacity. It was pretty sluggish to accelerate upwards. The total weight of the aircraft was 27.8 pounds. Next, I upgraded to the Avroto 3520 400 kV motors. They are said to have 30% more thrust than the 3515s. Because of the increase in current draw, I upgraded the 40 amp ESCs to 50 amp. The 40 amps were getting pretty hot while carrying a payload. Since the new motors have more torque, I upgraded to a 17 inch prop. I'm using these RC timer versions, but I'm probably going to upgrade to a higher quality prop soon. Although the Avroto motors are extremely well balanced, I had to add some tape onto the motors to offset some of the imbalances in the propellers. You should not need to do this with nicer props. This is a duration test with the 5 pound weight and the Bonka 16 amp hour 6S. It flew for 15 minutes. That's 1 minute and 20 seconds less than the 3515s. This decrease is probably because of a slight increase in weight. However, there are numerous benefits to these stronger motors. One of course being increased power. Also, the increase in torque makes them more responsive. This leads to more stable flight and sharper controls. This here is a payload test with the same 15 pound dumbbell on the bottom. It was obvious that the 3520s offered much more power. 15 pounds is a reasonable payload for these motors. That is within the weight range of most professional cameras and gimbal setups, such as the Movi M15 and Red Epic. Since I'm not going to be flying cameras this heavy, I can just stack on more batteries and benefit from the longer flight times. Here's another payload test, this time with a 20 pound dumbbell. This puts the total weight at 32.8 pounds. That's a lot. It flies easily, but it's definitely at the high end of the weight range. While pulling this much current, my EC5 connectors were getting really hot. After getting a chance to use these motors, I've found that they have the same great build quality and performance as the 3515s, and I would highly recommend them to anyone who's after a lot of power and great reliability. Stay tuned for more video of flying the FS700 in the near future. Thanks for watching, bye.